Leo. Welcome to your bonus reading for March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So hope everybody's doing well. So Leo, this is a bonus reading. We're going to take a little look at love, life, and advice for you at this time. So a little bit of everything. My intention with this is if your monthlies, some of that didn't resonate for you, maybe something here will. So please only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. May not be for everybody. Please keep that in mind. It can also be past, present, or future. Um, <clears throat> this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Male or female watching. Doesn't really matter. So we're going to see what we get for you here, Leo. So everything you need to know, Leo, is in the description box and the pinned top comment. Personal reading information, social media, decks I'm using. Tons of stuff there. Please go check it out. And also the giveaway for the uh, free reading, 20-minute reading, and free tarot deck is also still open till the end of March for reaching 10,000 subscribers. And as a thank you from me <clears throat> for all your support, if you would still like to enter that, if you have not yet already, also in the top comment, in uh, the pin top comment in the description box. And uh, Leo, I may or may not be continuing these bonus readings. So give me some feedback, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think if you enjoy these, or I may turn them, them into elemental bonus readings, which would be fi uh, fire, air, earth, and water. So let me know what you think. And also, if you have not yet already, please head over to the community tab of my channel. There are two polls there I'd like you to participate in. Be greatly appreciated. What kind of readings you would like to see per month. And if you would be interested in bonus readings, extended readings on Vimeo. So if you do, thank you. All right. And good luck if you enter the contest. All right. Leo. Wow. Let's see what's going on in love. So this just came flying out here. So we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Transformation and a love connection here and about to get deeper. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So whatever ended in the past here, let it go. Let it be the past. Healing and transforming from that. Now you have this new opportunity with somebody else where the connection with the two of you or relationship, whatever it is for you, could have the possibility here to go to a higher level, a deeper level, or getting to know each other a little bit more. So there's an opportunity there, Leo. All right, so let's get with this deck here. What is going on in life for Leo at this time? Also, you could find playlists, uh, links down below, the decks I'm using, links to purchase them social media links i have merchandise available super chats open during the premiere if you wish to do donate or chat <clears throat> at that time be greatly appreciated if you do thank you all right life for leo for this bonus reading what's going on for leo spirit please okay so we have the three of winter this is the three of swords rose breasted grass beak Sadness is a part of life, but you don't have to endure it alone. You may need a little time to heal, but once you work your way through the emotions, you'll be stronger than before. So this is a three swords energy. So this can talk of heartache and pain of some kind here. So let's see. So heartache and pain of some kind, but you know, you can heal and move on from that. So let's see what we have here. Prince of Summer, Romantic Flirtations, Introspective, Enchanting, Frog. Somebody going to turn a frog into a prince? I don't know here. A deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters. So stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your intellect. So this is the Prince of Cups. So this is, I believe, the Knight of Cups. So... Somebody may be coming forward here with an offer of love. Somebody who could have been heartbroken at one time about something. Or you could have been heartbroken over something. But now you're willing to move forward in love of some kind. Or if it's not that, whatever you're brokenhearted from now, you are moving forward from that, healing from that. And now moving forward in a more loving, compassionate energy. Not feeling so heartbroken over something. Could it be anything? Could it be a friendship? It could be a job. Uh, family member, it could be anything here, something that was very heartbreaking to you, but healing, getting over that and moving forward in a more calmful, peaceful, harmonious, loving, compassionate place. So 
However that means for you, we're going to clarify once we get into the tarot. But let's get advice for you first. Leo. Leo. <clears throat> I see this. I see two lovebirds there. So it could have been, you know, over a love situation. But it doesn't have to be. Again, it could be a friend, family, co-worker. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's get advice. I'm feeling one more shuffle advice for Leo, please. Thank you so much. What is the advice for Leo? Well, we got two here, and I don't usually take two, but you know what? I think I'm going to take these two. We have opening to love. My heart is open and listening with your heart. I trust the message I receive from my heart. Wow. So some of you here are listening to your heart. And opening to love again and if you've you know if you went through a painful hurtful ending here of some kind with somebody else you have someone coming in here moving forward in love or are you moving forward from that but you're opening to love again and listening to your heart in some way that is your advice though so your advice is to listen to your heart and be open to love again <clears throat> all right so let's this looks like one big love reading. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, it's supposed to be love, life, and advice, but it is what it is. We take whatever we get. If it's all love, it's all love. If it's not, it's not. So let's see here for Leo. One more shuffle. Thank you. Ugh, okay. So Leo, what is this transformation? And the past is now behind you. New possibility, a new path is now available. Follow it with faith. And something's about to deepen with uh, someone here also. So what is this about for Leo, please? Yeah, I felt that Ten of Swords. Painful, hurtful ending, either for you or the person you're dealing with. This was something um, hurtful, painful. Maybe someone felt like they were stabbed in the back here from someone. Maybe they didn't see it coming faith so this is having faith hope optimism this is the hierophant so and that could speak a marriage commitment somebody could have ended a marriage or a uh, very long term commitment here but remaining faithful because you see the back turning to this ending now having faith hope and optimism all right so and that is the transformation here because you have all that transformational energy through Faith, hope, uh, religion, spirituality, prayer, meditation. All right. Morals and values. So we do have the hanged man in reverse. Wow. So somebody's getting up, taking... <laughs> okay, how do I want to say this now, Leo? Um, <clears throat> once, was, was, once that was stagnant, and still is now getting ready to move forward. Once someone who has been like deeply rooted and planted is now getting up and like unrooting themselves and taking movement after ending some kind of marriage or long term commitment and transforming. That faith does remind me a lot of that transformational energy. Queen of Wands. So here's your energy, Leo Sag Aries. Um, the queen here does represent Aries, but it doesn't have to be. So far, we have um, Taurus and Pisces, and now this is Aries, but it can be Leo, Sag, or Aries. But I take that as your energy since this is a reading for Leo, and you are fire sign, wands of fire. So you could have moved on from a long-term commitment, marriage, or something like that, because this hangman is no longer still stagnant stuck he's now uh taking action gained enlightenment and healing so it's either you or a fellow fire sign let's just get a few more here for leo king of swords so somebody has mental clarity here this could be gemini or you know gemini libra aquarius but the king is gemini so somebody we have a couple here it's not a matching couple, but it's still a couple, so it could be an air sign. Some of you could have left an air sign, a Gemini. No, not stuck anymore. 
and now moving forward and having that mental clarity swords about mental clarity uh, on a, honest truthful communication cutting away things no longer serving standing up not taking bs telling it like it is kind of energy sometimes can be a little cold or heartless but um who was in reverse i would say that cold heartless manipulator but i'm not really getting that seven of coins so you know maybe this was a long time coming with the seven of coins you know maybe you invested 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 and waited and waited and waited and finally just said you know what <clears throat> Yeah, I don't think I want to invest in this anymore. So some of you definitely could have left an air sign. But we do have transformation from that. And if you're connecting to somebody new, <clears throat> because it says a relationship is about to deepen. So if you left somebody in the past, if you have a connection with somebody new, there could be um, some sort of a deeper connection in that. I'm getting this as leaving something in the past. And not wanting to invest in it anymore actually I'm being told to put this in reverse it's like I'm not investing in that anymore so let's see what this three of swords is in the Prince of Summer the Knight of Cups for Leo please page of coins so this is communication um, something stable grounded uh, news coming in, an offer, a stable offer coming in, or communication of an offer, or just very stable, uh, sincere communication with somebody here. All right, what else for Leo? Could actually be, you know, a job offer, or raise, a promotion, <clears throat> or something like that. Now we have the Queen of Swords. So we, now we have a matching couple, but there we have the King here and the Queen here. So I feel like for some of you, if you left behind an air sign, or maybe you le you left a fire sign behind for an air sign, or left the air sign behind for a fire sign, but now we have another sign. You have to match a couple now, even though they're not you know together you know, but they're still a matching couple. <clears throat> king or queen so again swords also king queen ace reminds me of divine energy divine communication so now we have the nine of swords of so stress worry fear and anxiety a lot of mental activity here now let's get a few more what is this all about with the three of winter and the prince of cups magician manifesting a new beginning i i felt that some of you, I feel, left one sign behind, either an air or fire, and knew that, and you you saw somebody else here that was either, or that you could have even been an earth sign, but <clears throat> you saw them and you knew that that was my person, because we got two soulmates that are separated here. If somebody over here was with somebody that was not really their soulmate, because they're not a matching couple here, and their matching soulmate is over here. So somebody knew somebody else was their soulmate, but they're stressed and worried about manifesting a new beginning with here, here with this person and wanting to offer. Somebody wants to offer something stable. Wow. Okay, that one on the floor. Let's see. <clears throat> three of swords on the three of swords. Wow. So this is about heartache and pain, something painful. Oh, all right. What is that about? What is that about for Leo, please? Thank you so much. Oh. Wow. Oh, my God. I can't make this up. <laughs> Leo, we have two of your cards stuck together here that fell out together. The sun and strength. I feel like sun is the most positive card in the deck having inner strength, <clears throat> passion, and go-getter energy, ambition, courage, taming the beast from within, willpower, determination. So somebody here was determined to get their soulmate. After some sort of hurt, hurt and pain here, I feel from the past. So somebody's here determined to get their soulmate here. 
twin flame soulmate energy here feeling the very strong bond but they're nervous and anxious about manifesting this this somebody could have reached out with a stable offer here but maybe it was rejected again because we do have the three of swords again which is about pain and heartache so maybe it was rejected but leo you still feel this very strong bond with the soulmate twin flame energy here so wow but we do have the prince of summer so somebody's coming forward or making movement forward in love so it's either you or them and maybe you have and offered something stable here and maybe it was rejected by the other person <clears throat> i don't know let's get so where is this going where is this going the leo so living in the palace of swords with truth clarity um kind of energy that's like pure clarity open honest truthful communication totally cutting away anything that's no longer serving you standing up not backing down telling it like it is energy so having total truth and clarity this person and living in that space is your divine counterpart you knew that even when, while you were attached to another person but uh, let's get one more let's get one more knight of cups i'm the knight of cups oh my god i can't make it up someone definitely if it was rejected before, um, somebody may make, because we got two offers, so maybe one made an offer, it was rejected, now could be you or the other person you offering again, or now the other person now offering love, or moving forward in love. Wow, so let's get one more. I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of up in the air, so... We have two offers here so it's either one person offering twice or now one offered and now the other one's offering but somebody definitely is stressed or worried about manifesting this trying to manifest this judgment so a judgment call will be made resurrection of soulmates forgiveness so this is the angel that brings the soulmates together or back together making a final decision and judgment call somebody somebody here will yeah, because now we have the King of Cups energy. So someone now finally coming forward, knowing uh, with clarity the 11 emotions after they thought about it for a while here with the Hermit energy. And now wanting to reset, start at zero, taking a leap of faith. Because Tree of Life, you've been divinely guided through lifetimes. Your souls are connected. Your genetics are connected in every single way with the Tree of Life. I believe this represents all the chakras as well as... Um, has a king queen knight so you've been connected through the tree of life through lifetimes past lives chakras you know aligned and lined up here firmly planted and grounded very strong connection here as with the tree of life lifetimes here and now someone's going to come forward here and they know truly how they feel with the king of cups and here's the empress who is giving birth to new something new here, knowing value and worth of the connection. Wow, so that's a lot more than I wanted to pull, and this is going a lot longer than I wanted to, but I just felt it wasn't very clear. So, wow, Leo. All right, something major here is happening. Something major. So let's see what opening to love and listening with your heart is about. Knight of Coins. So someone is making a stable. Someone's coming forward now. It's very slow moving. Could have been very, very slow moving. The Knight of Cups energy but it's sincere it's stable it's grounded it's a long-term energy and in the palace of coins so you have the palace of swords and now you have the palace of coins so this is living in a state of total growth wealth abundance prosperity um long-term energy wow <laughs> look at all the coins coming out wow so working on something here together, working on working on something. It could be a new job or promotion or something here, but you're working and mastering it. It's very slow moving, but it will lead you to a lifetime of palace of coins energy. So what else here? So you just need to open your heart and listen to your heart here. And the seven of cups, again, could be a little confusion, options, daydreamy energy, decisions here. 
two of wands. So being at a crossroads and needing to make a decision about all these options or some sort of option or decision needed to be made about, wow, Ace of Swords, brand new beginning here. Sword of Victory, divine energy here based on truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving, all that type of energy again. So you do have a victorious new beginning here and having total mental clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you, telling it like it is, blah, blah, blah. Energy, you know, being at a crossroads, making a decision or choosing an option and then working on it, mastering that, you know, moving forward very slowly, but will lead you to total growth, wealth, abundance for the future for the long term. Could be a relationship, could be a new career, <clears throat> job opportunity, raise, promotion, or something like that. But you got to open your heart and listen to it here. Because we have the Knight of Swords, this could move very, even though we have slow energy here, we also have this energy of moving very quickly. Energy. Holding on to your stability here. So, and, you know, keep fighting and not giving up. Hold on to your stability and your structure, your basis, your foundation. Because we do have happy home life here. We do have the Soulmate Twin Flame card here also. Very stable, happy home life. And going to a better place with the Six of Swords. Of success, balance, healing, leaving the BS behind energy. There's a total 10 of cups here. Total fulfillment, happiness, and joy in every single way. Happy home and family. Closing out a chapter, starting a new chapter. And then you have the Palace of Wands here, living in total passion, excitement, uh, endeavors kind of energy, zest for life. So, and then balance, total balance. It's your energy, the King of Wands. I could keep going, but... Wow, a lot of energy here for you, Leo. So over here we do have, um, with the Empress, we do have Libra and Taurus. The King of Cups energy is Pisces, Aquarius, Virgo, Scorpio. Uh, let's see, Leo, Leo. Scorpio again. Let's see here. Magician here is Gemini Virgo. So the Queen of Swords energy here is uh, Libra. So a lot of lot of energy here. Over here we have, um, don't really have any signs over here. So, wow, Leo, I just see major, something major is happening here. Major transformation of something new. Whether it's a new job, career, opportunity, or a soulmate twin flame. Like powerful connection coming and for you, Leo. Wow. Okay, Leo, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.